Welcome back to another leather crafting video. Today I am making a belt or a sash knife sheath for this gorgeous knife that I got for my historical cooking kit. I based my pattern off of the Townsend's knife sheath tutorial here on YouTube, and it gave me the requisite historical inspiration and background for something that would fit in with my historical kit. With all leather projects, once I cut out the pieces, I started on the edge treatment and pre-punched the sewing holes. Unlike fabric, leather is too thick to sew through on your own, so you have to pre-punch the holes if you're sewing by hand. I used a four-prong punch. While this might be an unorthodox technique, I usually leave the punch in to do the other side so the holes line up almost perfectly. Because of the decorative fold over being undyed, I wanted the body to be a really dark brown in contrast and went with the bison brown dye from Tandy. Next is the welt piece. This is important to widen your sheath so the knife has a good fit and doesn't end up nicking or cutting your stitches. This technique was new to me and also from the tutorial, where you pre-punched holes into a leather band and sew as you go, curving it with the shape of the sheath. Now prepare for the most awkward demonstration of the saddle stitch. This is a two needle hand sewing leather technique. I first took an awl to widen the holes because I found that they were a tad too small for my needles. Once you get your piece, you insert your needle going one way and pull through. Take your second needle and put it through the exact same hole in the opposite direction so the threads are crossing each other on the inside and continue this basically all the way down. You can do it by hand. Uh, you can also do it, use a saddle pony, which is specifically designed for this hand sewing technique. You can also attempt to do it standing up like I did here. Not recommended. So once you've sewn in the welt, you just trim off the excess and it makes a really smooth finish. I use some of my own handwoven tape that I made to tie it on to just my apron straps. Ideally, this will be tied onto an apron or a belt with my historical kit. So I wanted to see how this was gonna work. And I think it looks pretty good and really cute with the handwoven tape touch. So there it is with the welt cut off. You can see I kind of scraped the edges a little too much. So I just went ahead and re-dyed that whole section. And here's the historical look in full kit. I'm really excited to be able to have a on-hand cooking knife that I can always carry with me if I'm out foraging in the woods or if I'm in camp or in a historic kitchen, it'll always be nearby, and it really does fit the look, and it fits the part, and it looks really rugged, and I think it's a really nice complement to some of the other textures in a variety of time periods and other historical costumes that I might wear this with. <laughs> 